Susan Hayward was an American actress and singer who rose to fame during the golden age of Hollywood. Known for her powerful performances and striking beauty, Hayward appeared in over 50 films and was nominated for five Academy Awards, winning Best Actress for her role in I Want to Live. In 1959, despite her success on screen, Hayward's personal life was marked by tragedy and heartbreak, including the loss of her twin sons and her own battle with brain cancer. Despite these challenges, she remained a dedicated and accomplished actress throughout her career and left a lasting legacy in the entertainment industry. In this book, we will explore the life, career, and legacy of Susan Hayward, from her humble beginnings to her rise to stardom, her personal struggles, and her numerous honors and awards. Chapter 1. Early Life and Career Beginnings Susan Hayward was born Edith Morenner on June 30, 1917 in Brooklyn, New York, to Walter Morenner and Ellen Pearson. She was the youngest of three children, with an older sister and brother. Hayward's parents were both of Irish descent, and her father worked as a transportation worker. Growing up in Brooklyn, Hayward was a shy child who found solace in reading and daydreaming. However, she also had a natural talent for performing, and often put on plays for her family and friends. At the age of 10, she won a talent contest at the local theater, which encouraged her to pursue acting further. Hayward's family was not well off, and she had two work odd jobs to help make ends meet. She worked as a model for a time, posing for fashion ads and magazine covers. Her modeling work caught the eye of talent scouts, and in 1937 she was offered a contract with Warner Bros. Studios. Hayward's first roles at Warner Bros. were small and uncredited, but she quickly made an impression with her talent and work ethic. She was determined to succeed in Hollywood and worked hard to improve her acting skills. In 1938, she was given her first credited role in the film Girls on Probation, playing a supporting character named Dorothy. Over the next few years, Hayward continued to build her career, appearing in a string of B-movies and supporting roles. She worked alongside some of the biggest stars of the time, including Ronald Reagan, John Wayne, and Bette Davis. However, she was often frustrated with the types of roles she was given and felt that she wasn't being given the chance to show her full range as an actress. In 1941, Hayward's contract with Warner Bros. expired and she moved to 20th Century Fox. This proved to be a turning point in her career, as she was given more challenging and substantial roles. She starred in a series of successful films, including My Foolish Heart. Adam had four sons and the snows of Kilimanjaro. Despite her growing success, Hayward remained humble and hardworking. She was known for her dedication to her craft and her willingness to take on difficult roles. She was also admired for her natural beauty, which she enhanced with a glamorous style and striking red hair. In 1952, Hayward received her first Academy Award nomination for her role in the film Smash Up, The Story of a Woman. She continued to receive critical acclaim for her performances in films like I'll Cry Tomorrow and I Want to Live. In 1958, she won the Academy Award for Best Actress for her role in I Want to Live, playing a woman on death row. Hayward's early life and career beginnings were marked by hard work, determination, and a natural talent for performing. She overcame personal and professional challenges to become one of the most celebrated actresses of her time. In the following chapters, we will explore her rise to fame, her personal life, and her lasting legacy in Hollywood. Chapter 2 Hollywood success and iconic roles. After her move to 20th Century Fox, Susan Hayward began to receive more substantial and challenging roles that allowed her to showcase her range as an actress. She quickly became a box office draw and a fan favorite, and her performances received critical acclaim. One of Hayward's most memorable roles was in the 1947 film The Lost Moment, based on Henry James' novel The Aspern Papers. Hayward played the lead role of Tina Bordereau, a young woman who possesses letters written by a famous poet. The film was a critical success, and Hayward's performance was praised for its depth and intensity. Hayward continued to receive critical acclaim for her performances in films like My Foolish Heart, I Can Get It For You Wholesale, and The Snows of Kilimanjaro. In 1952, she received her first Academy Award nomination for her role in Smash Up, The Story of a Woman playing a nightclub singer struggling with alcoholism. In 1955, Hayward starred in the musical film 
with a song in my heart, based on the life of singer Jane Froman. Hayward's performance as Froman earned her another Academy Award nomination and cemented her status as one of Hollywood's most versatile actresses. In 1956, Hayward starred in the film I'll Cry Tomorrow, playing the real-life actress and singer Lillian Roth. The film was a critical and commercial success, and Hayward's performance as Roth earned her another Academy Award nomination. Her portrayal of Roth's struggles with alcoholism and mental health issues was particularly praised by critics. Hayward's most iconic role came in 1958 when she starred in I Want to Live, playing a woman on death row. The film was based on the true story of Barbara Graham, who was convicted of murder and sentenced to death in 1955. Hayward's portrayal of Graham earned her the Academy Award for Best Actress and is still considered one of the most powerful performances in film history. Throughout her career, Hayward continued to take on challenging roles that showcased her talent as an actress. She worked alongside some of the biggest stars in Hollywood, including James Stewart, Gregory Peck, and Charlton Heston. Her performances were praised for their intensity, authenticity, and emotional depth. Hayward's success in Hollywood was a testament to her hard work and dedication to her craft. Her iconic roles and memorable performances continue to inspire and entertain audiences today. In the following chapters, we will explore her personal life and the challenges she faced both on and off screen. Chapter 3 Personal Life and Tragic Losses While Susan Hayward's professional life was flourishing, her personal life was plagued with tragedy and heartbreak. Throughout her career, she faced several personal struggles, including failed marriages and the loss of loved ones. Hayward was married three times, and each marriage ended in divorce. Her first marriage to actor Jess Barker lasted from 1,944 to 1,954 and produced two children, twin sons named Gregory and Timothy. In 1957, Hayward married her second husband, Eaton Chalkley, but the marriage ended in divorce just a year later. Her third and final marriage was to actor and producer Floyd Eaton Chalkley, which ended in 1966. Hayward's personal life was also marked by tragedy. In 1957, her twin sons were involved in a car accident that left Timothy with severe brain damage. He required constant medical attention and care for the rest of his life. Hayward devoted herself to caring for her son and became a vocal advocate for brain injury research and treatment. Tragedy struck again in 1972 when Hayward was diagnosed with brain cancer. She underwent surgery to remove the tumor, but suffered a stroke during the procedure, which left her partially paralyzed. Despite her condition, Hayward continued to work in films and television, but her health continued to decline. On March 14, 1975, Susan Hayward passed away at the age of 57 due to complications from her illness. She was buried in the Holy Cross Cemetery in Culver City, California, next to her twin sons. Hayward's personal struggles and losses were a testament to her strength and resilience. Despite facing numerous challenges, she continued to work and make a significant impact in the entertainment industry. Her dedication to her craft and her advocacy for brain injury research left a lasting legacy that continues to inspire others. In the next chapter, we will explore some of the honors and awards Susan Hayward received throughout her career. Chapter 4. Honors and Awards Susan Hayward's talent and hard work were recognized throughout her career and she received numerous honors and awards for her performances on stage and screen. Here are some of the most notable honors and awards Hayward received. 1. Academy Awards Hayward received five Academy Award nominations during her career and won the award for Best Actress in a Leading Role for her performance in I Want to Live in 1959. 2. Golden Globe Awards Hayward won three Golden Globe Awards during her career including Best Actress in a Drama for I Want to Live. In 1959, Best Actress in a Musical or Comedy for I'll Cry Tomorrow in 1956, and the Henrietta Award for World Film Favorite, Female in 1956. 3. Cannes Film Festival. Hayward received the Best Actress Award at the Cannes Film Festival in 1956 for her performance in I'll Cry Tomorrow. 4. Hollywood Walk of Fame. In 1960, Hayward was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for her contributions to the entertainment industry. 5. National Board of Review Awards 
Hayward received several National Board of Review awards during her career, including Best Actress for I Want to Live in 1959 and I'll Cry Tomorrow in 1955. 6. New York Film Critics Circle Awards Hayward received the Best Actress Award from the New York Film Critics Circle in 1955 for her performance in I'll Cry Tomorrow. 7. Women's International Center Hayward was awarded the Living Legacy Award from the Women's International Center in 1980 for her contributions to the arts and entertainment industry. Susan Hayward's numerous honors and awards are a testament to her talent and dedication to her craft. Her performances on stage and screen continue to inspire and entertain audiences today, and her impact on the entertainment industry will always be remembered. In conclusion, Susan Hayward was a remarkable actress who left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Her talent, dedication, and hard work led her to become one of the most iconic actresses of her time, and her performances continue to inspire and entertain audiences today. Despite facing personal struggles and tragedies, Hayward's unwavering strength and resilience served as an inspiration to many, and her advocacy for brain injury research and treatment continues to have a positive impact on the lives of others. As we reflect on the life and career of Susan Hayward, we can see that she was not only a gifted actress, but also a remarkable human being who made a significant impact in the world. Her legacy will always be remembered, and she will continue to be an inspiration to generations of actors and actresses to come.